Flat Earth Proof 17. Eclipses. Doesn't it strike you when observing the sun and moon coursing through the sky that both appear as similar sized orbs, tracing similarly related 24 hour paths overhead at similar speeds? Is this simply just coincidence? Well, modern astronomy would say, absolutely, no question about it. Despite the sun and moon appearing to be the same size, the sun is in fact 400 times larger and 400 times farther away. The sun is in fact the orbital center with the very earth we're standing on spinning around it. Now, during a solar eclipse, it is claimed that the moon is passing between the observer and the sun, thus blocking the light of the sun temporarily from the view of the observer. Okay, then what about lunar eclipses? Well, according to the authorities, as we've all been fed, lunar eclipses occur when the ball earth moves between the sun and the moon, and we see the resulting shadow. But, over 50 times in the last 500 years, none other than the Royal Astronomical Society of Britain has noted lunar eclipses which occurred when both the sun and moon were visible in the sky. Not to mention several of those times when the alleged ball earth shadow has been seen on the wrong side of the lunar disk. Further, how is it possible that during a total lunar eclipse, the shadow starts off completely black as it creeps up on the moon, but when it fully covers the moon, the moon exhibits that signature reddish glow? My own research has led me to see that the authorities know about and are hiding information regarding a black sun, referred to in Vedic cosmology by the names Rahu and Ketu, classically described as orbs which eclipse both the sun and the moon in regular 18-year cycles. So investigate the subject for yourself and ask questions.